Hi, this is Trish Kelly, owner of Australian Labradoodles Midwest Connection. I'm at Rose, Rose's home. Rose is one of my trainers, and she has this litter, uh, this fabulous litter of six puppies. There's one sleeping I'll pull out in a little bit. This is Molly and Keeper's litter, and they're four weeks old today. Um, they are getting their second worming treatment today, and they're getting microchip today. So that's why I'm here visiting and... Uh, gonna be a part of the video this week. This uh, pink collared little girl is Winnie and Winnie is just stunning. She's got um, such a cute little face, very quizzical as she's looking up right up at the camera. She's got a tiny little wave to her ears which are really pretty and a little white, white blotch on her toe there in the front. She's almost got like a, 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 a soft brown, real light brown color. Um, she's a little shaking because she just woke up, uh, but she's doing fantastic, and uh, the other puppies want to play with her, so she'll be playing in a second. So this is our Winnie. I'll give you one more face shot of Winnie there. That's Winnie. Okay, then we've got the orange-collared Poppy. Poppy, our other little girl. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. This is Poppy. And I'm um, trying not to move the camera, I mean move my, move the camera too much out of focus, but this is Poppy. Again, she's uh, just a little bit lighter than the first puppy, a little bit of a cream, more cream colored with the orange collar. Uh, this one here just wants to play, 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 the red collared one. So Poppy is doing fantastic. They all are getting so uh, stocky and uh, beautiful Thick coats, non-shedding coats are coming out just gorgeous, which is all we really get right now. Uh, breeding ninth and 10th generation are the non-shedding coats, um, which we've actually had for some time, so that's a nice thing. The other one that we've got here, the red collared boy, I think. That's a girl. Oh, that's sorry. Mabel. Mabel, that's a girl. That's our Mabel. Mabel's just looking around like, Woo, what do you got me up in the air for? That's Mabel. Just a darling little puppy. She's a little bit darker than the other one. She says, I want to get down and play. She's got more red to her coat, uh, red-tipped ears. Just a beautiful, happy puppy. Uh, she's wagging her tail. What you doing, Sassy? Are you playing? So that's our Mabel right here. Again, red collar. That's Mabel. Let me show you Mabel one more face shot here of Mabel. That's the Mabel. Okay, and who's chomping on me, the green collar? That's our available boy. Oh, this boy is still available. He's so handsome. What a chunk. He's probably the heaviest right here. He's just a solid chunk. Uh, Daddy Keeper only weighs 30 pounds, so he's not going to be much more than 30 pounds, but he is a solid puppy, very labby-like. Uh, beautiful red ears on him, a nice face. He's very much looking labby-like, and I just adore that look. Uh, real solid, thick boning, real nice square head, and he, he's just looking for a teat to nurse right now. They all are. They're just trying to suck on my, my arms here. So that's the one right here that is still available. So uh, we do have some interest, but nobody's pulled the trigger yet. He's got a great stop, by the way, fantastic face. Stop is the nose. It's nice and short. Um, so this boy is still available right now as I speak. We have a family coming out uh, this weekend, but uh, I'm pretty sure, uh, well, right now he's just available. We'll see what happens after that family comes. Um, and then we've got one that's in here. Who, oops, I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm breaking things here. Who is uh, still sound asleep. I can pull him out. Come here, sweetheart. Who's that one, Rose? I'm pulling. Oh. That is Duke. Duke? No, that's the brown collared boy. Brown collar. He is um, Chandler. Oh, that's Chandler. I was going to yeah. say, I never heard Duke yet. <laughs> Duke is the boo. We didn't see him. Oh, oh, okay. I'm sorry. This is Chandler, and I just woke him up, her up. <laughs> him. Uh, oh, him. I'm sorry. Our little Chandler boy. That's me. Uh, he is so handsome. He's got a beautiful, like, light brown coat also. Uh, some people call this in the red family. Red tipped ears. Everybody wants to kiss him hello here. So that is Chandler. What a handsome puppy. Get a nice shot of Chandler. And again, he's just waking up. He's like, wait, you woke me up for what? Uh, what color is Duke's collar? He's blue. Blue, you said that. Okay. 
got pink or all brown. What am I missing? Is this blue? Green. I think, isn't it the, the light boy? Oh, yeah. hello. I missed him. <laughs> Two times I missed him. There's Duke. This is the first time I heard of his name. So this is Duke. Lovely name. I just love that. Um, nice stop on Duke. He's just looking around, checking everybody out. He's the lightest, pretty much the lightest of the creams. He's a beautiful puppy, almost uh, uh, off-white. Very stunning puppy. A little bit darker ears like the rest of them, which is very normal in this Australian <laughs> Labradoodle breed. He just wants to suck on my hand and say hi. And they're teething too. Okay, she, Rose just informed me they're teething, so that's what you're seeing when they're nursing and trying to chomp on me a little bit. I feel the teeth in their mouth, so definitely they're um, going to be weaned off of the mush soon and just get onto the hard kibble of life's abundance, which is what they'll go home on. Um, most of you are aware if you purchase the Life's Abundance dog food and through my website and continue feeding it to the puppies, your two-year health guarantee goes to a three-year because I believe so strongly in the product. It's a fantastic holistic dog food that is just chock full of vitamins and omegas and um, probiotics and it's shipped right to your door and it's not any more expensive than one of the better brands that you're going to get in a pet store, but it's, fan it's a fantastic dog food. So if you go ahead and order through my website, I get an invoice sent to me so I know who's purchased and who then is entitled to the extra third year. All these puppies are vet checked, wormed three times, microchipped, dew claws removed, um, first age appropriate vaccination. They are taught, um, uh, let's see, they're beginning house training. They're taught to sit and lay down before they go home. And I do a demo with you, with your puppy, so you see that Rose has indeed taught them to sit and lay down. Um, and then we do crate training from, uh, right now at uh, crate drop-off is this weekend, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. No, Next, uh, oh, a week from now. December 7th. Okay, it's December 7th is crate drop-off where the families come and visit for one hour and meet their puppy for the first time and hold it and play with it and video it. And uh, and then they drop the crates off and we do the crate training from that point till they go home. So um, just another little thing that's included in the price of the puppies. If you're interested in one of these Future pups coming down the pike. We're going to have lots of litters this early spring or into mid-spring. And uh, you'll want to get on my wait list. There's only four families on my wait list right now, which is a good thing. And um, when a litter is born, I go right down the, the wait list of people for number one and go right down the list. And you have the option when I call you if you want one of the pups that are available at that point or if you want to pass and wait for another puppy due to size or sex or color code or whatever it is. It's your choice to take a puppy when you're ready. Um, I, I'm pretty sure we're going to have Bindi having puppies in the near future and Sierra. Um, these dogs can be seen on my Meet the Parents page. Um, also, I believe Billie Jean and Breezy are coming down the pike also, so a little bit later in, in the spring. But So we're going to have lots of puppies available. Don't hesitate if you're interested to click on the Contact Us tab at the top of my home page and I'll send you what's called my introductory letter and my puppy application which then you can decide if you want to submit it and get on the wait list or just inquire about more uh, have some questions you might have answered and but that will get the ball rolling just to click on the contact us and send me your inquiry or you can always call me and talk directly with me at 262-623-7667 Again, 262-623-7670. So I hope you loved this video. They're all adorable. You can see they're moving and shaking and playing with each other and just having fun. They found their voices, which is always exciting. And um, the tails are wagging. These are a happy group of puppies. So four weeks old and counting. So have a great week. Thank you.